Adam and Sally's moment is interrupted by Chloe, and Chance gets an unexpected offer. Here's what's happening on The Young and the Restless today. While Abby questions Chance, Sally bargains with Adam, and Victor calls for solidarity. Victoria recognizes Chance at Crimson Lights, where they exchange pleasantries. She tells him that his inquiry into the children's reactions to Ashlyn's death isn't helping when they have a conversation about it. Chance doesn't mean to cause any trouble. This is not beyond Victoria's comprehension, and she is not frightened. Chance is ready to put this chapter to rest. Victoria then dares him to immediately end the probe, and study of this nature cannot be left to chance. The concept of justice itself is called into question by Victoria. He has no proof for his theory, so where is he leading us? My question is, are you going after my dad for obstruction? Or are you questioning Nick's story that he hit Ashland in self-defense? She thinks he's trying to frame Nick as the one who murdered Ashland in a plot hatched by Victor, and she's worried. You wouldn't accuse Nick of murder, would you? Nick enters at that very moment. Nick finds out Victoria was pressing Chance about whether or not he would press murder charges. In other words, she wants to hear back from you. Even Nick needs one. Chance thinks they called him up in good faith and that Nick didn't set out to cause Ashland any harm. Victoria wants to know why the issue is still unresolved. Chance maintains that they do not know what transpired between the time Ashland hit the floor and the time he was found in the ravine. He is more convinced that they are aware of what transpired and are hiding it for their father the more openly defiant they are. Adam meets up with Abby at Society and comments on how long it's been since they last spoke. Apparently, she learned that he was breaking up with the Newman family. Adam insists he must stay in society and explains that his disagreement with Victor has nothing to do with his relationship with Mary. Abby assures him they can maintain polite conversation and even gives him free crab pups. Adam needs to have a chat with her. Abby recognized that he was trying to win her over and asked, What would you like to talk about? In response, Adam says, Ashlyn Locke's passing. While having a drink together at the pub, Adam finds out that Abby doesn't know any more than anybody else about Locke's death. The news of his death came as a shock to Adam and Abby, and they are both praying that Victoria can find peace soon. Abby says it was difficult when she called her and Adam hasn't yet spoken to her. Adam thinks that Chance is in a difficult position because she is looking into the murder. She frowns when Adam says he spoke with Chance and learned that the latter has serious reservations about the vehicle accident. That makes me curious, and I have a feeling it makes you curious as well. Sally puts the squeeze on a Newman Media employee during a phone call. As she turns away from the phone, she suddenly realizes that Victor is watching her. He suggests they have a chat. Sally had anticipated his arrival much sooner. Victor has been quite busy. They all think that it would have been best if Adam had stayed, but he made it obvious that the position wasn't a good fit for him at the moment. Gratitude fills Sally's heart both Victoria and Nick decided to give her a go. She is dead set on proving her worth. As he ponders this, Victor says, That is what I came to talk about, okay. He hopes she realizes how satisfied he is with her work on the Ashland Locke narrative. Sally fires back that the police report doesn't make for much of a narrative. Victor is convinced that she is in possession of additional information. Sally informed Nick that she would not write about him being at Victoria's before the accident because the GCPT had not yet commented on the matter. Victor acknowledges her restraint and sensitivity in dealing with the situation. If I were you, I would follow those instincts. He thinks about how she can utilize this time to create something new and exciting. Neither power nor wealth are the only motivating factors. The goal is to create something that will last for generations to come. Whenever she is put in a position of authority, Victor is crossing his fingers that she will make the right calls and stick around. Sally can't tell if he's complimenting her or warning her, so she just thanks him. Abby at Society inquires as to the specifics of Chance's account of Locke's accident. As far as Adam is concerned, the fact that he's looking into it already says a lot. He is well aware of the fact that he has dragged Kevin into this. 
Abby doesn't know anything and tells Adam he knows he's fishing for information. She has decided not to give it to him. When asked by the speaker, Adam asks, won't or can't? Since no one is communicating with her, he deduces that she is just as much of an outsider as he is. Both you and I are being kept in the dark, Abby. It's time for us to band together and combine forces. They will tell each other if they overhear something important. Sighing, Abby shakes her head. Nick restates at Crimson Lights that Ashland was a nasty man and that they have no reason to assume he didn't get up and leave the building before the tragedy. Chance takes a call from Abby, who invites him to meet her at the park. Chance tells Victoria and Nick, I think we've all said enough, before stepping out the door. On the terrace of the coffee shop, Nick tells Victoria that the situation is growing worse by the minute and that he can't get the image of Ashlyn's body out of his head. Victoria feels Chance wants to assist them and will do the right thing. He'll side with the family. We've done nothing wrong. Nick's not so sure. They should keep their dad updated, in his opinion. Victoria cautions that he must know something before they visit the location in question. The two are in the park when Abby says to Chance, We need to talk about Ashlyn's automobile accident. He makes a face of disgust. What he's hiding from her is obvious to her. Adam is the only family member willing to talk to Nikki, and he feels something is up because Nikki was acting strange yesterday, and Nick and Victoria haven't spoken a word, and her dad can't be reached. Once the probe is complete, Chance will reveal all. Abby's stomach is turning, and she's putting the strain on him. Chance, who is weighing his options, will reveal some private information to her at this juncture. Her father, in particular, is in danger, he says. I don't think you'll find this news particularly comforting to take in. Adam shocks Sally by showing up to Newman Media on a fact-finding trip, ostensibly to learn about the legal difficulties his father has gotten them into with Ashlyn Locke. Sally believes it's rude of him to assume that she'll help him out of the blue like that. Adam is aware that she has gained access to confidential material from Nick. Sally tells him he's being pathetic for trying again. Adam believes she owes him gratitude for ending their relationship. Sure, we can work out a compromise. He proposes a small exchange, such as money or a favor. Sally smirks and moves around the desk to look him in the eye. If you admit that the only reason you broke up with me was so I could keep this job, and that you still love me, then I will tell you all you want to know about the Ashlyn Locke story. Adam mocks her and Sally attracts him. Just as he's smiling, Chloe enters and informs him he doesn't work there anymore. Adam suggests to Sally that they finish up later and then he goes. Sally blurts to Chloe, What the heck was that? Chloe recognized the longing in her eyes. It was nasty. She reminds her they're leaving the past in the past and establishing a name for themselves. Why would she risk losing that to try to win Adam back? Chance has told Abby in the park that he thinks Victor moved Locke's body to keep Victoria and Nick from harm. In retrospect, Abby must agree that it is the sort of thing her dad might do. If he keeps looking, Chance is sure he'll uncover some hard proof. Afterwards, Abby is curious as to what he plans to do. Because of the importance of family to her, Chance feels he must remain neutral as he watches Victor commit a crime in front of his eyes. When Nick and Victoria arrive at Victor's property, he informs them that he has been anticipating their arrival. Last night, he had an intriguing talk with their mother, and she confirmed that she had heard about the time Ashlyn's body was removed from the house and buried in the ravine. No doubt he didn't want her to know, and she was hurt that he kept it from her. Victor is furious, thinking that Victoria, like Nick, should not have told her. They're now accessories to the crime and are in danger. Nick muses that he probably should have considered that before he started the scheme. Victor advises his son to be sagacious because he was just trying to keep everyone safe and now they're criticizing him instead of appreciating him. Abby at the park may not approve of her father's actions, but she does understand his need to protect Nick. The harm Ashlyn caused was sufficient. Is Chance asking, Do you want me to back off? It would be unfair for Abby to ask that of him, because he may come to regret agreeing to it. It's up to him to decide what to do after he does some soul-searching.
One of Chance's favorite things about them is how candid they can be with one another. But you're right, it's my call. As they embrace, Adam joins in. After Abby leaves, Adam goes up to Chance, who warns that he won't discuss Locke. While Adam won't be asking any questions, he does have an offer that he feels will be of great interest to him. Sally claims at Newman Media that she and Adam were only negotiating. Chloe finds out the specifics and realizes she may be putting herself in danger. Sally says she is in charge, but she still needs him to tell her the truth. It may not make sense to Chloe, but it's what she wants from him. When Chloe sighs, she means it. She gets that Sally needs to wrap things up. Sally wasn't interested in reconciling with him. She only wanted to get rid of her insecurity. Nick can't count on her to keep her part of the contract. Chloe gives a dismissive nod. It's a good thing she arrived when she did. After Adam revealed the truth, she couldn't fool him into thinking she didn't know anything about Locke, or he would be enraged and make it his purpose in life to make her regret it. Sally doubts that Adam would respond in such a way. You're correct, it could be worse, Chloe says wryly. They argue over Chloe's opinion of him, with Sally claiming that he has evolved into a better person. It is Chloe's contention that he always reverts back to his original self. You haven't seen what he's capable of until you've seen him at his worst. She begs Sally to drop the idea of working with Adam and to forget the past. Victoria denies that anyone is attacking Victor at the property. Nick and Victoria say that Chance will not let this go and that they advise caution. Victor thinks that Chance's suspicions can't be proven. They'll get through this undamaged if they can pull together from here on out. Chance, according to Adam's speculation at the park, suspects Victor was involved in Ashlyn's death on the night in question. He is aware that he is in a challenging situation. Adam is looking for an internal support system. And that, you? Chance thinks to himself. Adam begs, and maybe I can help you.